All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, no intro today, getting right to the point. So as you saw by my thumbnail, uh, I've had another issue with Dolly. So I did a video about Dolly, how they don't care about us drivers, independent contractors, nothing new. Uh, I was not gonna share this information, but I really want to because I think it's important because a lot of you guys work Dolly as well. And um, I'm just trying to share my experience so it'll hopefully help somebody else. Still slow out here. Very slow day. I only did four orders. Um, I think I made like $96. So very slow right now. So I'm just going to show you two stops that I did uh, just to limit the uh, the length of this video. And uh, when I come back, I'm going to tell you about my two incidents with Dolly. And hopefully it helps somebody else. All right, y'all. So it was pretty easy. Uh, went straight to the customer uh, service desk. And uh, the item was right there on this part. So, uh, it's a lot of stuff, but it's easy stuff, so, load up. Probably like 70 pounds, maybe. All right, so it took about 10 minutes. 10 minutes to get everything and get loaded. All right, y'all, we are at SeaWorld. SeaWorld delivery. I don't know where to go. Hello, sir. Yeah, I have a, a delivery from Home Depot. It's like cleaning supplies. I'm not sure where to go, though. Uh, yeah, you'll deliver with the culinary warehouse right here. Okay. You know, Same building, but further down. Yeah, right where the sister truck is, you'll check in with people in a minute. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, I have a order from Home Depot. It's like cleaning supplies. Okay. I just need to know where to put it. Um, where are you? Uh, I'm next to this box truck. It's a white cargo van. You can just set it up over here. Up on the dock right here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you I can. Try to put it on the side. Right? Oh, okay, perfect. Thanks, sir. Uh, here's your paperwork, too. <clears throat> uh, I'll need a signature when I'm done. So. Yeah, You'll be right there. The All right. Got this lumber. Got some craftsmen. So craftsmen tools and then uh, it's missing uh, some more lumber. So I'm about to go pick up the uh, rest of the lumber and that's it. Pretty heavy or no? Nah. Slide it in. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is it. Uh, this is what was missing. Uh, it's pretty much the same as those, just a little thicker. So um, I'm gonna have to hand unload it. Nothing's heavy. I'm gonna cut these straps and just unload it. Um, is this worth thirty-four dollars? I would say no. But uh, is it worth not doing it? I would say no. I mean, I think it's worth it. Um, 
I'm gonna make $34 in probably about 20 30 minutes so it's up to you everybody's different but uh I'm gonna stop turning these down and just throwing money away hello how you doing sir if it's easier you guys could back up into the driveway or uh that's fine it's, it's not that heavy I'm just okay. yeah I'll carry them little by little <laughs> Uh, you just want it right there on the, on that side? Yeah, just like right here is fine. Oh, in the driveway? Or in the garage? Oh. I can put them in the garage. If you want to put it in the garage? That works for me. Yeah, no, no, I got you. Thank you. Uh-huh. And uh, once I'm done, I just need a signature. Yeah. We'll be good to go. Ah, oh, no problem. Is that an electric um, electric lawnmower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you like that? It works it, pretty good. My dad, uh, my dad bought it for me, and I, I like it. Okay. So battery charge it does my whole yard does it how long does it like 40 minutes maybe 45 something like that i'm not sure, not I, sure. I don't think i ran it out before oh uh, okay gotcha it's, it's got good enough power for this for this lawn uh you can get them uh with self-propelled it's a little easier to push i don't have that oh uh, okay gotcha yeah i was just curious I, I think it works good enough for what this is oh really yeah cool Selfie, yeah. selfie. Yeah. So, there we go. All right. Doing a good job. <laughs> All right, y'all right, set. All right, sir. <clears throat> All right, guys. So that was my day uh, yesterday, November seventh. Uh, I am working today, but I'm not gonna document it. I have a delivered order scheduled for like 10:30. Uh, I don't have much going on, so I'm not gonna bore you with it. Um, but I do have some scheduled work coming up, so I'll be documenting that. Um, so really quick, normally when I do these, uh, I like to show screenshots and kind of show you the, the conversation that I had. I'm not going to do that too much. I'm gonna show you a little bit, but I'm basically going to explain this as quickly as possible. Uh, Dolly pays on Tuesdays and Fridays. So on Friday, I had received my payment. I had completed two jobs for Dolly that week. Uh, one was hundred dollars. The other one was 111. So I was supposed to get $211. Uh, when I got my payment, it was uh, 180 something dollars. I think $181. So there was a $30 deduction. I was wondering what was going on. So I contacted Dolly Support and they basically told me that I had canceled a job and they, they penalized me $30. They took $30 out of my payment. So I was very upset. I didn't understand because I'm like, I don't remember canceling any job. So went back and forth with customer support and um, I ended up going through my history and I found the job they were talking about. It was actually, uh, I actually had documented it on YouTube. Uh, it was a, a team's job and it was at Lowe's and the uh, lumber was too long. It was, it, it did not fit in my van, it was too long. It was like 12 feet long. So anyways, I had called customer support that day and I spoke to a lady, I did not get her name, but uh, she canceled it for me. I did not cancel it, she canceled it for me. Uh, I did not receive payment and I did not fight for payment because it was my fault. I did not um, read the, the you know, they have it in inches. So it was like 160 something inches. I can't remember the exact, um, the inches, but it ended up coming to 12 feet. So I just assumed that it would fit in my van. I didn't think they would have anything that wouldn't fit. It was my fault. I didn't fight for payment. It was all good. I thought everything was good. They ended up, they said that I canceled it and that uh, they penalized me $30. 
So it took a while for me to, uh, took about 10 minutes on the phone going back and forth with this customer support. And uh, they wanted me to show a photo of the uh, product that did not fit. I did not have a photo because I had deleted it. <clears throat> it was like over three weeks ago. So I ended up, uh, I, I went back to my YouTube channel and uh, thankfully I showed it to you guys. So I screenshotted it and I sent it to them and then they sent me an email saying that they're gonna give me my $30 back. So that was the first incident. Uh, it's a lot more to that. I just summarize it as quickly as I can, but uh, it's an uphill battle. When you contact customer support, they do not wanna give you your money. They wanna take money from you all the time. You have to fight for it. Uh, so it was a very long, drawn out conversation that I had. Um, and the other thing that made me very angry was I asked them, I said, they said that I never, they had no history of me calling customer support. And I know that all of their calls are recorded and uh, they'll tell you that at the beginning when you call customer support, they'll tell you all the calls are recorded. For some reason, anytime uh, something that's gonna help you, help your case, they never have it. So for some reason, they did not have any record of me calling and they wanted me to give them the name of the person I spoke to. That was three weeks ago, I have no idea. So I could not I could not prove that I called, but I know I did. Unbelievable that they did not have record of that. The second incident happened this weekend, this past weekend, which was uh, on the 4th, November 4th. So I had two Dolly jobs lined up. Uh, both of them were a team's job. I was doing it with my wife. We got up early in the morning. This order had came out probably almost a week prior i had uh scheduled for it it was a pickup at best buy a 75 inch tv uh the pickup said 9 a.m 9 a.m pickup uh i've been i was contacting the customer all week the customer gave me inst specific instructions told me to go to best buy at nine o'clock park in whatever parking stall i park in text her let her know so she can contact best buy to bring the tv out to me that was my instructions. Get there at 8.55 um, and Best Buy is closed. They're not open. Uh, so I Google it and I see that they open at 10 o'clock. So immediately I contact customer support. I let them know, hey, I'm here. It, the, the order says 9 a.m. They don't open till 10. So customer support is like, okay, we're gonna try to get a hold of the customer and let them know what's going on. I had tried to get a hold of the customer. The customer was not responding at all um, and then Dolly Support tried to get a hold of her. They could not get in touch with her as well. So they indicated that in the emails. We were emailing back and forth. I was talking to a specific um, customer support. I think it was a female. And um, she basically told me, it's up to you. You can wait till 10 o'clock or you can cancel it. I was like, okay, cool. So me and my wife, we go get breakfast. We come back 10 o'clock. I'm texting the customer, no response for like 15 minutes. So. I'm like, you know what? I gotta cancel it because I have another pickup at 11 o'clock, uh, it's a Dolly order as well. I'm not gonna have time to pick this TV up now, it's too late. So uh, I end up, so I don't know how to cancel a Dolly. Like I've never canceled it myself on the app. I was looking for that feature. I didn't see anything that said cancel. Um, so anyways, I end up, the only thing that was lit up on my screen, it said relist. So I hit relist thinking that, okay, it's just gonna go to somebody else. Well, apparently if you hit relist, they penalize you for that. So um, I get a email saying that, you know, you relist it and it's gonna charge you, they're gonna take $35 out your check. So I'm like, oh, heck no. So I contact the same customer support that I talked to earlier and she um, tells me, oh yeah, you hit relist, but just send them an email and the compliance team and explain what happened so they can remove that. All right, cool. So I do that. I send them an email. I tell them it's a mistake. I didn't know how to cancel it. I hit relist. Can you guys take that $35 off or whatever? And, the post, and I'm supposed to get half, right? I need half of my money. So that job paid $111. I should have got like 50 or $55. So long story short, we go, it's about 11 emails going back and forth with compliance team. And they're basically like, oh, once you relist it, we can't undo it or whatever. And, um, that whatever computer software they're using, it I, I, I hate when they talk like that, as if they can't undo something. Uh, I know computers are smart. Um, they act like, you know, once you do something, they can't undo it. Uh, obviously they can because they did eventually. So we went back and forth. I explained, I sent all the evidence. I, I showed them a picture of my van. I took a photo. Uh, 
in fear that something like this would happen, I actually took a photo of my van at Best Buy, which actually, actually paid off. Um, I sent them the emails that I had with support, and I sent them um, the uh, the screenshot of it saying nine o'clock was the pickup. Then they come back and say, oh, well, we can't, we don't know if you were there because your GPS was turned off. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So now they're accusing me of lying. So they're, they're saying I was never there because their, their GPS did not pick me up. And I'm like, how is that possible? Like, I never turned my GPS off. Like, anyways, so long story, I'm trying to keep this short because it's a lot that goes into this, but I'm like, okay, so y'all telling me my, yo, GPS didn't track that I was there at nine o'clock. So now I gotta prove I'm there at nine o'clock. They like, oh, you gotta show us something that you was there. So I'm like, so I end up taking a screenshot of my grid wise. Thankfully I use grid wise. So it tracks my whole route that day and the times. So I sent them a screenshot of that. And then to add to it, I went back to my dash cam. My dash cam will save up to 12 hours and then it, it lapsed, uh, relapsed. So thankfully, it was, uh, you know, I was able to go back and that video was still there. So I in, I sent them my dash cam, my personal dash cam of me driving up to uh, Best Buy. So the only thing that sucked with that was the time was off by an hour. Uh, it was an hour slow on my dash cam, which I need to fix that. So anyways, I sent them that and I'm like, look here, this is all the evidence I have. And I'm like, if y'all want, y'all can call Best Buy. They can look at surveillance. They'll see my van pull up in spot number eight at nine o'clock. So finally, they send me an email and they're like, oh, okay, well, next time uh, we can't undo it. So they undo it, they change it to cancel, and they give me $40 instead of $55. The whole point of me sharing this is um, with these companies that do not care one bit about you, um, you have to protect yourself. So I'm gonna say, this is just my advice based on my experience. I'm in it for the money only. If it wasn't for the money, I would not be working with these people. Uh, you, unfortunately, you have to deal with them because they're the ones that connect you to these jobs. So to protect yourself, Dolly on their app, they have where you can take photos at any time. So when you get to the pickup, I would take a photo. Take a photo from the app, not on your phone. So from the app, that photo saves in their database. Um, so take a photo when you get there. Take a photo when you load it. Take a photo when you deliver it. Like just take photos, like take photos of everything. Take a, a photo of your van at the location with hopefully with the address showing all that stuff. Secondly, if you have a dash cam or you have body camera, body camera is gonna save you. I had a customer complain about me. I have body cam footage of everything I do. So that is gonna save you. Um, they're not gonna take your side. They're always gonna take the customer side no matter what. So the dash the dash cam can help you and your body cam. So I know I use mine for YouTube, but I also use it to protect myself. And you, I'm telling you, that is a piece of your equipment you have to have. Get you a dash cam because whenever it comes down to your word versus theirs, they're gonna go with the customer every single time, guaranteed. Grid wise, that's gonna save you as far as GPS because for some reason their GPS doesn't track you sometimes. And uh, before I finish, so I told you that same day I had another order, right? Uh, I picked up a washer for a customer at 11 o'clock at Best Buy and delivered it. And it was like an eight mile route and it was like $77. The customer gave me a $5 tip, so I made $82. That's a great order, like eight miles to deliver one washer into the garage, no install or anything for $82. So that's why it's hard to walk away from these companies uh, when they pay like that. So I asked them, did you guys get my GPS on that? No response, I have not got a response. Uh, specifically asked, was my GPS coordinates tracked on there? So anything that's gonna help you, they're, they're gonna lose it. They don't have uh, your recording when you call, they're not gonna have your GPS. It's always gonna be something you're gonna have to prove that you know you did what you said you did. So this is the only reason I'm sharing this. This is it's not when this happens to you, it's going to happen to you. I guarantee it. If you work Dolly long enough, some of you guys don't work Dolly just because of the nonsense and uh the pay. Sometimes the pay is low, but sometimes the pay is great. Um, so protect yourself. You're like, not their employee, so they do not care about you, and they prove it day in and day out. 
So um, I just want to give that warning. I wanted to share that. Um, like I said, I had a lot more to say, um, like more details, but I'm not going to bore you with it. I just wanted to kind of share a summary of what happened and hopefully uh, somebody will, it will save somebody from losing money because they will definitely take money from you and you will have to fight for it. So I earned that $211 um, and I'm not letting them just take 30, $35 from me from something that I didn't do anything wrong. So anyways, uh, that's it for today. Hopefully that helps somebody. Appreciate y'all. Watch out for yourself and I will catch y'all on the next one.